Joe, you can come on up. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. Uh, I'm not from the South, so I won't pretend, but you could also do a Chicago accent, I'm sure. Um, anyway, uh, Joe Kalis, I believe that I am the second newest uh, real estate collective agent. I just uh, moved over. Uh, I have a background 10 years ago. I quit my corporate job, became a digital marketer. I became a realtor because it was in the real estate space and I needed to be licensed. And uh, here I am 10 years later telling Amber how amazing this, this, this room is a community of people that I said, if I were ever to consider switching brokerages, which I'm not, uh, I would definitely call you. And then, uh, wouldn't you know it, I called her last week and here we are. So, <laughs> thankful to be a part of the Real Estate Collective. I've uh, been in real estate about 10 years and uh, excited to be here. But uh, I was a marketer first. I've always loved digital marketing when I learned what it was. And AI is basically a version, it's a piece of marketing, right? It's, it's a tool that you can use to up your marketing game, but it can do so much more. It can turn things into Shakespeare. It's, it's incredible. And um, so my background is marketing. When AI came on the scene, I got so sick of people talking about ChatGPT that I, I didn't even acknowledge it. I'm like, I don't need to know that. I don't want to know it. It's so overwhelming. It seems complicated. It seems scary. It seems big brother. I had all the myths and, and all the hesitations in the world. As a digital marketer, that they're telling me this is gonna change life like the internet did. And it, it is, and it will, and it doesn't matter if you wanna be part of it or not. Um, there's many futurists, if you follow any business futurists, that say that this is, this is a game changer. You mentioned it. I love that you said this levels the playing field. Uh, my, my AI mentor, I'm a certified AI consultant. Um, my, the guy I learned from said, it's no longer a skill to be able to write content. It's, it's just, Devin, I'm sorry, it's just a fact. Uh, your emoji game is solid, but it's, it's all of our emoji games are now solid. So it's unfortunate for you, great for us. Uh, if you're an, in, I mean, copywriters are going out of business, they have to adapt. I have a slide, actually, watch this. Uh, that one. Uh, AI will not replace you people using AI will, right? So people are afraid that this is gonna remove jobs and it, it may, uh, depending on your industry. I don't think real, realtors are target number one for, you know, we don't need realtors, we can buy our house on our own. We've, we've, we've had that game. So um, what Amber said about leveling the playing field is so true. Uh, everybody can write content now. You can create content, you can create marketing. I love what you said about idea creation versus content creation. Um, that's a philosophical question that people, oh, is this copywriting, is this plagiarism, is this, is this stealing, can I use this, copyright, all this stuff, but it's, it's all original, so there's no copyright issues, and everybody can do it. So I use ChatGPT for the most part for idea generation. I, I love writing, so you can keep writing and using your emojis, I still do. Uh, but I use it for ideas. Give me 10 ideas of things to write about that buyers need, right? And, and, stuff, and I see that it's five of them I knew and six, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And then you write about it, post about it, create a video about it. Uh, you can ask it for a list of videos that you should create. You're a realtor in Cookville, Tennessee. Give me a list of 10 videos that I should create to set me apart from all the other realtors in the room. It's, it's idea generation. Then, and you can use that further to say, I want a script for this video, that video is awesome, and it'll write you a script, and then you just go in front of a camera and you read the stinking script that you didn't write, and you look like a genius, right? So it's leveled the playing field so that anybody can do it, but just like most things, implementation is the key. If you don't do it, you're not gonna, it's, it doesn't get done, but levels the playing field. Um, what I'm, what I love talking about is persona. She used that word, it might not mean anything to anybody, uh, but imagine, I'm not gonna ask who has ever been to a therapist. Uh, I believe that everybody should have a therapist. Just, it's a crazy world, we, we got crazy lives, we should all have a therapist, right? But imagine you went to your therapist for the first time and they didn't know anything about you. It, what, do they start by telling you what they think you should do or do they ask you questions about who you are, what your childhood dreams were, what happened with your parents, all this. They, they need to get that basic information, foundational information about who you are, otherwise a therapist cannot do anything unless they, they get those deep, dark secrets. Now, a persona is basically 
a layer in ChatGPT where you tell it exactly who you are. I'm from Chicago. I don't think anyone else in here, anyone from Chicago? <laughs> represent? I'm not actually proud of that, but um, <laughs> where? Crystal Lake. I'm from Arlington Heights, so there you go. Yeah, my brother lives in Crystal Lake. Um, I love the community in Chicago, but I'm from there. I'm very different than most people here, just like you are different than any of the people that are from here. We've all got our differences in life. All right, so I've gotten a few questions. If you guys have questions, Tyler and I, uh, and I don't know, Amber, if you want to take AI questions. Probably not. Amber can help you with much more valuable things. Uh, so talk to me or Tyler afterwards. We'll talk about how you can do that. Um, question, all kinds of questions. There's all kinds of questions. We're trying to explain concepts. And if this is exciting for you and you want to learn more, just follow up with me or Tyler afterwards and we'll, we'll be glad to dive deeper. There, there's so many different rabbit holes you can go down. Uh, I'm going to show you some cool stuff. Tyler is going to make you fall out in the floor uh, with what he, with, with, what he does. Um, so personas, right? So that's what I was talking about. Um, if you go to a therapist, you don't tell them anything about your life, they're not going to know how to help you. ChatGPT, what Amro is doing, is very powerful. You can you can type and ask it questions. You can tell it to write like Shakespeare, but you can also tell it exactly who you are. I'm from Chicago. I like Chicago sports. I hate it. I can't stop liking Chicago sports. It's it's a problem for me. I'm a realtor. I'm a marketer. I have a ten year old daughter. Everything about you that makes up your brand. Does anybody like building a personal brand in real estate so that people know why you're different than the next realtor sitting next to you, literally? Um, we all need to brand ourselves as something unique, right? That's I, I work with relocation people a lot because I am a relocator. Uh, I am a product of tourism, so everyone's got their diff different flair. When when Amber was in here asking it, give me a listing description. It knows nothing about you. It knows nothing about the property. It knows nothing about anything. But it gave you some pretty good answers. Now imagine if, like in a therapy session, you told it who you were, and they were able to uncover your deep, dark secrets and tell you the prescription for how to unlock all your emotional toil in life. Like, therapists know this. They know how to do this. If you tell ChatGPT all about who you are, what you represent, what you stand for, the ideal customer, what your fears are, all of these things, it's called prompting, right? She, she prompted it a little bit. She said, right, like Shakespeare, that's prompting it. That's telling ChatGPT what to do, how to be. It's, it's a philosophy that you ingrain in there. So if you stand for five pillars of whatever your philosophy is, I mean, Rico has it, we all have our mission statements, you can put it in there say, hey, ChatGPT, my name's Joe Kales, I'm from Chicago, here's what I stand for, here's what I don't like, here's what I do like, here's who I like working with. You can prompt it. The concept is prompt engineering. So you really take a deep dive into yourself and you puke it out into ChatGPT like a friend. You know, it is, it is our, my little buddy, you know? And the beautiful thing about ChatGPT, the most beautiful thing, has anybody ever been a boss, a manager, overseen people, and your people talk back to you, and they ask for more money, and they complain about the weather, and they ask for vacation, right? Or you've been that employee that's nagged your boss about that? ChatGPT does not do that. They, they, you say, give me this, and they're like, yes ma'am, yes sir, absolutely, here it is. Would you like fries with that? ChatGPT is a ro it's literally a robot, it's a computer, it does not have emotions, it does not have demands, it does not ask anything of you, but if you continue to tell it things about you, it gets that much stronger. So just imagine you're building this superpower, like, like super, uh, what do you call it, like if you were Superman or uh, I want to be, um, who's the guy with the thing on his chest, uh, Iron, Man. Iron Man, I want to be Iron Man, so I tell ChatGPT everything about Iron Man because I want to be Iron Man Realtor. That's my persona. I create that persona in ChatGPT so that when I say, give me 10 social media topics, it knows everything about me and it will write from that perspective. It's as if I were writing it, but it's from a robot which writes better than me and better than Devin. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna keep going on. Uh, go right to that one, please. So, um, my, my Obsession is marketing. I think that marketing can change any business, real estate or otherwise. Uh, if you if you get good at marketing and you get good at offers and hooks and branding and all this stuff, you can be excellent in business, right? So there are many personas. So I have a persona as Joe Kalis the human. However, in my business, the real estate business, we'll say, I need a marketing special. So imagine that all these personas are employees. Imagine a world or you could create a different persona for every employee. Can anybody afford to hire 10 employees right now? Probably not. 
but you can train 10 personas in your ChatGPT account to be a marketing specialist, an SEO specialist, search engine optimization, not getting into that. I also know how to do that, but the sales copier, copywriting is writing copy with emojis. Uh, website copyright, content, e-commerce, lead generation, influencer marketing, social media branding, this is all marketing stuff. But then what if you need a customer service rep? Has anybody ever dealt with a client that, would, that you wanted to just, you know? Unholy thoughts crossed your mind and you're like, ah, what do I say to this person? ChatGPT does not have emotion. Tell ChatGPT about your situation and say, I need to craft an email response to this difficult client Here's the situation, please respond to them for me. It'll write an email for you, and it won't get you sued or turned into Trek, which I have been, which is awesome, very exciting. Uh, that was, I didn't have ChatGPT, Chat so apparently I did this client wrong and whatever. So you can have an HR manager, you can have a customer service rep, you can have a project manager to tell it to organize, is anybody hectic, does anybody have a million things to do and you don't know what they are and when they do? You can have a project manager outline a tab. So these are all personas, aka employees, that you can build in the ChatGPT based through the filter of who you are and what you stand for. You can have a team of 26 people, 27 people, a fitness coach, there you go, for the workout people, nutrition and lifting weights, uh, real estate marketing specifically, etc. So I could go on for days. I Someone said, where am I going to sit? I can't sit when I think about stuff like this. I just get so excited. Um, there's literally more opportunity than anybody could probably tap into, um, but personas and, and creating, it's like a profile. It's telling ChatGPT who you are, what you stand for, so that everything you ever ask it will know who you are and it will create it from the standpoint of you, and then you can go and do other things, right? So is that, that lever is there anybody like the word leverage in your life? Uh, I'm, I'm a big person on leverage, um, and this is Levels of playing field, allows you to create anything you want, creates leverage in your life. Um, you can be whoever you want. You don't have to be you. You can create a brand about something that you wish to be, uh, but you want to stay authentic, because we all here are authentic people. So, um, gosh, um, there's a lot more that we can get into, but Tyler and I will be available. Um, oh, excuse me, I am so sorry. Um, He's gonna, so we have decided that the two of us together in one week from now, I don't even know if we told Amber this, we are going to do um, a Google chat, so, some sort of group live event where we're all online together and we're just gonna geek out and nerd out for like two hours. We're gonna set a two hour window, 10 to noon, next Thursday, a week from today. And if you want to be part of that, we have the invite list here. We will invite you all to it. Um, if you wanna talk specific about questions about how's college using this, uh, is it plagiarism? All these specific questions. Um, if you want to, text me. Uh, you can set up a, a discovery call with me and Tyler. Uh, so if anybody wants to know more, because we don't have all the time in the world, text the number. Are you ready? 931-342-4660. Text your name, phone number, and email. It will send back a text to you with joekalis.com slash consult. And you can book a time on my calendar and we can do a 30 minute chat about what it might look like for you, how you might engage with our services of what we do in AI consulting, or we can just give you some tips. Uh, technically, yeah, it's, it's Zapier, which is AI, yes. It's a third party API integrator, since you asked. 931-342-4660. Uh, Four six six zero. Text your name, phone number, and email. Uh, I will uh, mark it to you for the rest of your lives. And uh, I yeah, no. uh, type stop if you don't want. No. Um, but I will. There, there's my calendar link there. I'm glad to talk to anyone for 30 minutes and just kind of dive into what it might look like for you and how we can help you at different levels. With that said, um, I met Tyler a week ago when Amber asked me to do this, and he, she said, "Hey, there's another guy that wants to talk about AI. Uh, it's freakishly." It's really scary to me how similar we are, but he's like 10 times smarter than me. It, 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 he's 10 times further ahead of me, so he's gonna take it to the next level. Where, have, has anybody seen any AI generated images on Facebook? Well, on, on the invite here, right? I turned into Harry Potter somehow. Um, yeah, she, yeah, you two looked amazing. I looked like Harry Potter. Um, so, text that number if you wanna. 
Yeah, and AI can do that. That's great. If you want to look like a Greek god, you know, that's, uh, that's fine. So Tyler Fisk is amazing, incredibly smart. He's going to dive into some next level stuff. But if you want to talk about basics, how it looks for you, go to that link, schedule time on my calendar, and let's chat more after this. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Woo!